That is a crumb. Wait, did, did Nico go crumb? Hey, bro, he's out here just trying to have a good time. In winners finals of all places. <laughs> yeah, he beat everyone else. Might as well just... True. But either way, we do have the Krom. Surprised he didn't try to go uh, Richter or anything. Yeah, I've seen his Richter, but every time I've seen the Richter, it's also uh, when he's like super down. Mm -hmm. He doesn't think anything's working, but it doesn't look like uh, that's quite happening here today. Yeah, definitely good for a game one start. Uh -huh. Best of five, you got a lot of things to start. Both these characters, uh, Squirtle and Ivysaur, I feel do really well against Krom. Squirtle has the, the water gun. You could just push Krom off once he needs to recover. Ivysaur, the down air. Yeah, I mean, it is a really susceptible recovery. That ether is very um, easy to get edgeguard. I know a lot of people talk about how Krom has that aerial drift, but he kind of needs that to, you know, ever make it back to the stage. So, mm -hmm. yeah, at the same time, this is one of those early meta characters people thought was like, it was going to change the world. Like, sorties are so dumb, dude. But uh, oddly enough, we don't see too many Kroms uh, out there. They kind of just uh, kind of drop them. Uh, yeah, especially once Krom aside. Uh, yeah, Krom aside got, like, patched out. Yeah, the same, the same fate as like the Richters and Simons. You don't really see too many of them at the top play, except for a couple people committing to them. But it doesn't quite happen as uh, people thought it would have, uh, especially in the early meta. They were definitely like, oh, I don't know how to get around this. This is such a terrible thing. This is going to run the meta. But as people got better, they're like, you know what? There's just better characters. Yeah, it's like, oh, yeah, I forgot. I, I remember how to play Smash again. <laughs> so, But here we go. Um... I mean, Nikos is doing a good job. I mean, it's just one of those uh, fast characters with the sword to be able to keep out the space and keep up that pressure. Nikos very used to this kind of scenario, so that Krom is a really good pick. Yeah, Nik Nico made really quick use of Eon's uh, Charizard right there with the down tool. It just kept pushing him off to a point where he couldn't even re recover. Ooh, oh. going the wrong way, too. Yeah, that's the weird thing about Ultimate sometimes. Sometimes you just these weird turnarounds that you, had, you did not mean to do at all. Yeah, you know, like when you... Oh no! Wait a minute. If there's ever a character that could do it, it is the Pokemon Trainer. Oh my god, I can't believe that actually worked out. That's so good for Eon. Just knew that he was able to make it back. Yeah, he used all of his resources. He jumped with the Squirtle, switched over to the Ivysaur, used the like pseudo third jump that Vine Whip gets, and then used Charizard's third jump. Exactly. He's able to make it back. I mean, that's only the first stock, and Nico took it himself. Uh, Eon not doing too well with the Trainer right now, so. Let's see if he can try to keep things up. Oh, back air. Quick back air, yeah. Yeah, right now, Nico taking four stocks in that <laughs> that first game. Yeah. Training paid off. Krom looking really good right now. Eon did mess up that edge guard when he did the up B. He did do a jump up B, so that was really good of him to do it uh, higher, but Eon did squirt uh, water gun the wrong direction. In game two, we're going to go to Kalos. I like the idea. You have the platforms off the sides, so a lot of just flat space for both players to play on and the fact that, that those walls that go down it gives Squirtle access to his wall jump and his wall cling Three, two, one, go. <laughs> <He> just <laughs> runs up immediately and does the down tilt yeah, pressure just goes to poke him and then runs away got nothing else to do yep oh my god Oh, I think he took it. No, it didn't take his jump. Yeah, dude. Sometimes when I'm commentating on this giant, t giant TV, I'm like getting motion sickness because I'm like it's sitting so close to it. I got a lot of I things gotta, happening. I gotta sit back, sit back a bit. Like, there we go. Now it looks like the size of a monitor. All right. Anyways, uh, <laughs> I feel that it's definitely wow that F smash. Ah, that caught him. I don't think Eon thought that was gonna hit him right there. I think everyone forgot that this was a good character. <laughs> yeah. it looks like Eon is not quite respecting the space that Crom, you know controls in this matchup. I mean, it's difficult because you have to go in, but at the same time, this is fast character. It's got a lot of power to it. So it's very dangerous to really get anything going. And that recovery mix up to Eon not able to get the dare on oh. the ether in time. Oh, I like how he... I feel like he went for that grab just to get him into the percent where down throw up B would kill. And he, he did eventually get the re-grab, but unfortunately it wasn't going to work out for him. Back air caught him drifting away, but DI yeah, not... not going to kill him just yet. Oh, and the dare, not able to get a forward smash afterwards. Dancing Blade, gonna come, or Double Edge Dance. I don't know which one it is for Krom. He's, he's like every character in Fire Emblem. Me neither. I don't, I don't even play Fire Emblem. I just say Side B. <laughs> <laughs> How does the Charizard get back? Wake oh. up DP, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You, you, you get one per, per set. Oh, but the forward tilt. That's going to be able to take out that next stock really easily again. 
going over the Charizard. Probably wants to wait, gets the Squirtle. He needs that quick 50%. That was a crazy back air. Ooh, I like how Nico is really just like poking him and then waiting to see what Eon's going to do. And Eon's respecting it too. Alright, the fair train. No, fair train's come out. But he's going to be able to get it this time around. And I like that. Uses the Kalos platform just to regain his double jump after the air dodge and comes back into the fray. Yeah, I don't think Eon really thought about that part. He gives it gives a character like Krom with that linear recovery an extra, an extra layer to kind of get through. Big F smash coming in. Not going to kill though. Edgeguard's gonna come in. Not quite. Ooh, grabbing him himself. Eon looking for him to uh, grab, but not gonna hit it either. Oh, I like that attempt. Oh, but, but the forward tilt will be able to do it, yeah. Mm. Yeah, Nico going up 2 0 with the Krom. I feel like Eon's now gonna probably go over to the Fox or maybe just try it out again. One more trainer. He knows he, beats, he beat everyone else here. Maybe he's going to just stick it out. If he gets three out, he's like, all right, I'll just give it another shot in grands. Yep, we'll have to see, though. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nico's sticking with the Grom. Yeah, Strawberry Fox coming in. Yep. All right, going back to Kalos. Let's see how this goes. I'm actually curious to see how... I mean, I just don't get to see a whole lot of Krom uh, in general. Just, I don't know if it's our region or what, but I feel like no one plays this character, so... Mm -hmm. Let's see how this goes down. And Krom definitely... Right now, he's just being considered that early meta character. Everyone's just like, I could play these other sorties like Ike, like Lucina, but, you know, Krom's still a very big threat. He just has so many tools. Mm -hmm. And if you just don't space something correctly, then you might die really early. <laughs> At the same time, if you don't space something correctly as Krom, then you might die really early as well. Anyways, here we go. Goes for the up tilt into the fairs. And the movement from these two so quick, but just barely gets in with that back air to be able to close that out. It just seems like Eon's not really... It doesn't look like he understands what Krom could do. He's kind of getting hit by a lot of these hitbox that Nico are throwing, is throwing out. Yeah. I mean... I don't really know what they were thinking when they were making this character. It's like, oh, let's just have a content hitbox instead of the, the weak hitbox that Roy has. But Roy had the frame data to make up for that. <laughs> now, it's just kind of <laughs> just big hitboxes everywhere. And it come out quick, too. So a lot of people are going to get caught off guard by that. Yeah. But a lot of people still do consider Roy better. It's an ongoing debate. Yeah. Ooh, Ooh, up he out of shield. Yeah. Very nice stuff. And just catches him. I mean, I think just in the range category, of course, Krom is going to win here. And uh, to be able to keep up those juggles, and it's not going to work too well against uh, Fox's tiny limbs. Mm -hmm. And up be out of shield for uh, characters like Krom and uh, Ike are still really good. It does a lot of damage. So it's not it, it's not an uncommon thing you see that uh, characters like that do. Calling out the up tilt. Wow, missed tech into forward tilt. Very nice stuff. Tries to catch them on the edge guard. Doesn't quite happen. Back air is going to come in. Bad angle to come at. He respects the recovery there. I'm surprised Eon didn't try to go for a parry on the uh, up B. That's one of those times where you really should go for it. Get a parry, maybe just get an F tilt or something. Right. The boy's trying to use it, just runs past him, gets a pivot F smash. Nigo's Krom looking really nice here. Well, that shows up tilt up air. Looking like a mad nice combo. Oh, picks him up with the falling up air. Gets like four or five, six in a row. Very nice stuff. Only 41%. He staled the heck out of that move. Right now, it's looking like uh, Eon's Fox is doing a lot better than the trainer has been doing, but unfortunately, Nico is still looking just as dominant as he has been. Right now, Eon is going to try to bring this back, get this percent in, but Nico... Oh, wow, he was going real deep for that. Didn't quite find the edge guard, but another four till. Not gonna die yet. Still Nico's going yet. crazy right now. Oh, the down to eclipse him. Oh, what's he gonna do? Down air? Nope, never mind. He was dead. Wow. Yeah, just a little bit too far downward. Nico three owing him with Krom. All right, Krom looking mad nice. Where was this earlier? Why'd you save this for winners finals? <laughs> to just three zero. <laughs> yeah, crazy stuff, yeah. man. Yeah, that game five with Kano.